Hey guys, Brendan New Productions here, and welcome to what I think this is the uh, sixth installment of the uh, implementing a MySQL database into um, VB.net. Now, I'm really not sure if this is the sixth, fifth, fourth, third, first, I don't know, but anyway, this uh, episode will be about how to delete entries from your uh, table. Now this episode is fairly simple. It requires just a tad bit of coding, and um, and then we're good. And that's all we're going to be covering in this tutorial. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to be using the uh, project that we've been working on for quite some time, and um, I'm going to go straight ahead and go to the form where we have all the users listed out in the list box. So in order to del to delete a user or an entry in the field. What we're going to need first is obviously a button that um, is labeled with delete. So I'm going to go ahead and slide that button right in there. And then um, the text I'm going to, whoa, the text I'm going to make it delete. Alright, so um, once we double click on delete, all we're going to do, this is going to be really easy, we're just going to type in one simple command. But as you know, when we're using MySQL with VB.NET, the commands are kind of long. Anyway, so the first thing we're going to do is need a connection. And then we're going to make that a new connection. We're also going to create a command and a SQL query, query string. We also need an adapter. and a reader and then we need to open up the connection and then we uh... no 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 okay yeah and then we need to tell the command what connection to use and we also need to tell the command what uh... command to do which is going to be sql query then we're going to have the adapter select the command and translate it for mysql use and then we're going to have data actually read the command. Then down here we're going to close the data and close the connection. Okay, so um, now that we're done with that, we can go right ahead and uh, fill in the blanks here. The first blank we need to fill in is the connection details, which go in the uh, parentheses here. And I'm just going to go up and grab this from our uh, previous entry. Just remember that connection details are specific to your connection. so. Um, you will obviously not be using these details right here. And then the most important part is SQL Query. Now, this is a very simple command. As If we scroll up, we can say, see that the uh, update command was kind of lengthy and confusing. And um, so was the uh, command to get all the information we needed to write into a text file. But now all we're doing is we're simply deleting a user, and it's a very, uh, like, a six-word command. So we're going to say delete from, and then the table, which in our case is new table, where, and then we need to go back into our table and find out what uh, field we can rely on that will not be edited. So I'm going to go ahead and um, go to my database now, which I believe the website is db4free.net. By the way, check out this new thing. Yeah, that's cool, right? Okay, and then uh, I'm going to go ahead and log in, which... Whoops. Uh, then I'm going to go ahead and click the databases button up top. And I need to log in once again. Alright, so now we wait for the little uh, thing to pop up. Pop up here. I believe. Yeah, and then we're going to go ahead and click Brandonio Product. New table, and we're going to go ahead and browse that. And here we go. 
So we've got several fields, and um, as you notice, favorite food, favorite color, name, password, and username can all be edited within the program. So these are not staying the same. However, this ID field will stay the same the whole time. So what we're going to do is go ahead and use this ID field. So we're going to delete the, uh, the user, which has the ID of whatever we specify. And we are going to say the ID is listbox3.selectedItem. Okay, um, because if you remember when we uh, when we wrote everything into the text file, we also wrote the ID into the list box, and then every time we selected a different user, we selected the uh, list box item that corresponds with the list box one item. So we're just selecting the ID that goes along with the user. Now, under the syntax of this, uh, as you know, we usually use apostrophes inside of uh, or outside of values so we went ahead and did that and then at the end of some commands I don't even know if this one requires it but we're going to do it just in case uh, MySQL requires a, a semicolon to say that that is indeed the end of the command so I just went ahead and put it there and then down here at the end what we need to do is close and then reopen the form so it reloads all the users so we're going to go ahead and say me.close to close the form and then if we look back up here, our form is called Form 3. So we need to dim Form 3 as New Form 3. And then we're just going to say Form3.show. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, check it out. Going to debug here. And I'm going to go ahead and log in. I think my it's Brandonio password, right? All right, yeah, and um, we've got two users here, but today I just don't feel like getting Rickrolled anymore because, you know, that is kind of frustrating. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this guy. And if you notice, when it reloads, uh, um, Rick Astley, our friend over there, is um, officially gone. So if we go back to our database and actually refresh the page, and then browse the new table, Rick Astley is again gone. So this command works um, just to del permanently delete things that you don't want anymore. So thanks for watching this tutorial on how to delete uh, certain fields in MySQL and VB.net. Uh, please remember to rate, comment, subscribe. You can also check out my new website design and my new blog at brandonsoft.com. Uh, remember you can always follow us on Twitter. Uh, uh, become a fan of us on Facebook or like us on Facebook now it is. And um, yeah, so thanks for watching this tutorial and have an excellent day. See you guys.